Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey everybody, it's Dawn from CBD Talk Podcast, and I just wanted to jump on really quickly and give you a little update about something. For longtime listeners, you guys would know that we have um, a dog that has diabetes. My son's dog, his name is Jackson, and he is a good boy. All dogs are pretty much good boys, but Jackson is especially a good boy. Um, about two and a half years ago, he got really, really, really sick, and um, we found out he had diabetes. And he was down to 45 pounds at the time. So, um, and for a labradoodle, that's not good. Um, and so they put him on insulin and we got his weight up. And then we got his weight up a little bit too much. So we've had to bring it back down a bit. Um, but his insulin has gone up. His insulin requirements have gone up and up and up over the last two and a half years. Um, at the end of the year, I finally decided that we got to do something about this because it had gotten up to 14 um, cc's twice a day and that's a lot um, and so we started feeding him um, chicken and vegetables that's it um, every day you know we had always pretty much stuck to the 12 hours in between feeding you know like six at night and six in the morning for food and insulin um, we've done that for ever since the beginning and it really didn't seem to um, it kept him stable for a while, but his insulin requirements were going up. And so, um, so we switched food and after 30, 40 days of that, took him back in and his insulin requirements increased again. And I was like, damn. And I had given it Jackson insulin, I mean, um, CBD in the past. Uh, I was just not really consistent with it. I had done it for, for, pain and you know, when he was sick and things like that and worked really well but I just I never had him on a daily regimen so um about mid-February we put him on um uh inst I mean um CBD with his morning meal and his evening meal because every 12 hours um and after 30 days brought him back to the doctor and he was able to lower his insulin, he meaning Jackson, was so the doctor's actually a woman, but they uh, lowered his insulin um, a full CC. And so he went down from 14 to 13. And then I took him back today um, after another month of CBD, morning and night, and they lowered it another CC. So from mid-February at 14 cc's, he is now at 12 cc's um, mid-April, and I'm very excited. Um, we're using Clean Green Mart, um, their tincture, and Jackson is good. I think I've got the 1,500 milligram tincture or 1,000 milligram tincture. I'm not completely sure, but I think it's 1,500. Anyway, it's something like that. Um, and so if you go to their website, Clean Green Mart, just Google them. Uh, I do Clean Green Mart CBD to get to it. Um, and he's getting 12 and a half milligrams in the morning, 12 and a half milligrams at night. And, um, it's working really well. So the reason I wanted to tell you this is because the CBD that he's taking, it's not dog CBD. You don't have to have animal CBD. CBD is CBD. So... If you have a pet with diabetes, if you have diabetes, if you have a friend or family member that has diabetes, consider adding CBD to your daily regimen twice a day. Track everything. See what happens. It's um, it's really working wonders for, for Jackson. And if you listen to um, the podcast that we just did earlier this week with David Dawson, he has referred, this. that was his third time on the show, and he has referred to CBD and diabetes as, you know, the next big thing that's coming around the corner several times because uh, it's, you know, I think he said $3 trillion industry. And, um, you know, it's just, uh, 
if it works, it works. So try it out, see if it might help you. Um, and you know, uh, get a, I would say, get a good strength tincture, um, just put it in the food and, um, tell you good stuff. And like I said, right now we're using clean green marts, uh, CBD and uh, their tincture and it's working like a charm. The only bad thing is that I'm having to share my CBD with my dog. So now I got to buy some more. <laughs> I take choice what he takes, um, but man, I'm just so grateful. It, it just never ceases to amaze me what this stuff can do. And it's not, let's remember, it's not a magic bullet. It's working on your endocannabinoid system so that your body can talk to itself more efficiently, get those messages back and forth, and, um, and let your body do what it does naturally, which is heal itself. So anyway, guys, stay happy and stay healthy out there. God knows we are. Have a great day. Six, five, four, three, two, one.